बहुत लंबा हो गया है लेकिन मैं चाहता हूं कि आप लोग थोड़ी देर हमारे साथ और रुकें हमारे पास चार स्पीकर्स हैं अभी आ, मैं बहुत शुक्रिया अदा करना चाहूँगा कॉम्रेड हेम का इबाजे रखने के लिए मैं अगले वक्ता के तौर पे कॉम्रेड सरोज गिरी को बुलाना चाहूँगा फोरम अगेंस्ट कॉर्पोरेशन एंड मिलिटाइजेशन से कि वो आके अपनी बात रखें Thank you. Uh, this is part of the time, um, and I think uh, we have had uh, a couple of condolence meetings uh, um, in Delhi, uh, in the university, uh, as well as elsewhere. I'm just coming from Chennai, where there was another meeting yesterday, and there was one I attended in Hyderabad. in which vasanta and manjira was also there um i just want to say uh, you know that uh, the loss of sai uh, sai is passing away is uh, something which we will have to keep grappling with for a long time also because it's a double loss both the tenures of uh, of extreme pain and torture that he went through as well as after he got released uh the seven months you know that was nothing and we the the feeling of loss is double because we get him back and again he is snatched away from us we can call it institutional murder we can uh you know it's we can say this is state repression it's all of that uh and we can say this is fascist murder it is also that that's true but i think uh if we were to sum up really size life not just what he did consciously not just what he intended but also if you look at size life particularly from around 2008 9 uh which is connected to all the struggles that are taking place in the country and not just the struggles but as an effect of the struggles what happened at the level of civil society what happened at the level of the state uh not just in terms of repression but if you recall uh precisely the period which Imran Dini Sundar was talking about and others have also referred here operation green hand salvatore dumol this means you hear there was not a state repression but also there was an initiative deepak on behalf of the civil society as well as a portion of the state a faction of the state you know the state is also not always a homogeneous entity so there was a an attempt to kind of create peace to create a kind of condition of reprieve where what is happening in central india that actually gets some kind of a temporary relief so at that time the state was which was the upa government if you had chidambaram on the one hand the minister at the time he chidambaram he was on the resistance struggle against mining the forest which arunna tiwari was talking about and the resistance that arunna tiwari saw is only a is a terror problem it's a terrorism problem but then there were some people within the congress within the ruling party within the government of the time who were saying oh this is a socio economic problem so on the one hand you have those who called it terror the other were those who called it socio economic now what happened was i think and this is where size life comes size life all this so not just the repression that he faced which kind of you can say happened later once he goes to jail in 2014 but much before that what is going on is all these different forces are converging and it happens retrospectively retroactively when you look at it on side in the body of side let's say literally so um, so size uh, life is also a document is also a register uh, of all these different forces that converge on side all these you know it's like as the side got caught between two tectonic plates between two opposing forces of tremendous power and the framework from which you have to look at side if you ask me 
there were eminent judges today. There are a lot of eminent people here. They have their own ways of looking at it. I don't think we should look for one frame. You know, if you ask me what happened with, uh, with Sai was, he was caught up in a particular situation. And the framework must include the prior killing of Azad. Who was Azad? In a way, you know, you have to keep in mind the killing of Azad, which I see most people are not referring to, but without the killing of Azad <coughs> and the forces that were unleashed with the killing of Azad. Swami Agnivesh, who is no more with us, and he would definitely have been with us today if he was alive. Swami Agnivesh. Swami Agnivesh publicly stated after the killing of Azad that this was a Vishwas Ghat. This is the word he used. Betrayal by whom? By the government. But I was telling you just a second ago that the government, the state was in a kind of a temporarily, it was like two kind of blocks were there. One was the progressive kind of block who said that what is going on in Bastar and all these places is not a terror problem, it's a socio-economic problem. And there was the Chidambaram led, Home Minister led, this all this Operation Greenland and all that led approach which said this is a terror problem. So the Biswas Ghat, what would you think? That the Biswas Ghat that Swami Abdilaz pointed out is by only the state which talked about the problem in terms of terror or was also the other faction of the state involved which treated it as a supposedly more progressive terms as, just as a socio-economic problem and hence we should have a humane approach. They used to talk about a humane approach in those days. My submission to you is that what subsequently happened with Sai proved that both these factions of the state acted together. And Sai himself was caught in this situation. It was not a simple narrative, you know. Stan Swami's case, investigation into it. Let there be a judicial committee to investigate what happened, who, who were the forces behind the killing of Azad. Azad came in good faith. We have talks, negotiations. And people like Digvijay Singh, very powerful Digvijay Singh, as you know, the very powerful politician. I'm not talking about some other Digvijay Singh. I'm talking to Digvijay Singh, you all know. You should all go and ask him what happened. Digvijay Singh knows. Why is he not here today in this hall? Did the organizers try to approach him and tell him, you know everything, sir. Would you like to come and address us? Now that Sai is even no more and maybe you also won't be 